now as now as we so line list and how event and enrollment reports show difference in the program stage being displayed with event report showing the all the stages all the events for the stage and enrollment showing the recent event for a program stage in this session we'll see how does these event and enrollment type pivot tables differ from each other so here we'll like to see the pivot table for the dose vaccine doses given gender wise to the different people enrolled in the program so i will show this by comparing two of the tables which are already saved in the favorites we can try generating them also later so i will open Covid doses by sex, and on my second tab, I will open Covid registrations by sex. So let us see how are these different. Now in this table, what I'm seeing is male and female, gender wise or sex wise. What is the total number of vaccines given? So I had done pivot table selection with event output type, taken the COVID-19 vaccine registry program and vaccination stage, and I've selected hair sex and the vaccine which is being given. Now, what does this table show? It shows me how many doses have been of vaccine have been given to male and females. So. Around 16,000 vaccine doses have been given to females and 16,000 something to males. Let us see how it changes when we select enrollment output type here. So when I select enrollment type for the same selections, see the numbers have reduced like they're almost half, a little more than half to what we've seen for events. So what the enrollment aggregation does, it counts each person once. So even if a, a person is given vaccine two doses or three doses, it will be counted as one in the enrollment aggregation because it aggregates based on the registrations. So this table will give me number of people who have been given vaccines in 2022. It will show me number of females who were given vaccines number of males who were given vaccine which is individual wise while the event report will show me how many doses have been given here we cannot say that 15,000 females have been given vaccines it's like 15,000 or 16,000 vaccine doses have been given to female so this counts all the events where a vaccine was given first dose plus second dose plus third dose and it shows the total vaccine doses which have been given. It counts and adds all the events which exist for the vaccination program stage. While the enrollment output will aggregate only the number of registrations or number of people where a vaccine dose was given. Right? So if we have to generate any aggregation based on the number of people, who are given a particular vaccine, number of people who came for a camp, number of people who were uh, diagnosed with a particular thing. So that will be through enrollment, which will count each person only once. While if we have to see number of events, number of doses being given, so then we can generate event type, which will add up all the events. So I'll stop here again and you could try to generate the similar tables and compare which is given in the exercise three. Here similarly you have to use the repeatable program stage for vaccination and try to generate these two outputs and compare the results.
and please post if you have any questions thank you